Hi guys, it's me, Jen. I'm here to do your full moon update. Full moon is tonight in Virgo. We've got a lot going on here. I had been talking all last week about actions being taken, fast movement, fast, uh, let me plug in that microphone, fast movements happening. Um, Lots going on in the energy last week, and let me tell you, it did not disappoint. So, there's the Eight of Wands. More movement, guys. More movement. So, some of you guys might be traveling. I have to share because, you know, I think a lot of you know I'm a Virgo. Um, and I keep reading like somebody's coming in, some new loves coming in. There's going to be fast communication. And here I was thinking it's a past person, and I think a lot of my energy this month has been giving myself some self-love. You know, I'm on day 16 of the whole sugar detox, and I feel great about myself, and I've really, like, let go of a lot of the toxicity out of my life, and I kind of have been manifesting, you know, somebody that I truly resonate with, and I was shocked that something just kind of fell into my lap. Somebody kind of just fell into my lap that's a little bit like wish fulfillment. Like, in the most unexpected form, it's still a really fresh situation, but I keep reading that there's this new love, and I was kind of like, no chance. And it happened for me. The minute I kind of let go of all that toxicity in my life, there it is. It just fell in my lap. Guys, might be some travel coming up soon. Might be some travel, some quick communication coming with this full moon. Coming in, some people might be traveling to see you. Lots of moving energy. I think we're still in this movement energy. We've got the Knight of Swords here. So again, fast, fast communication. I also got a new deck, you guys. It's uh, the Egyptian Tarot. So very cool, very cool, because I love things that are Egyptian. So we got the two of pentacles here. I'm going to do an overall spread, just kind of read the energy, like we'll talk, we'll chat. Because I know some of you guys like to chat. I know some of you guys just want me to get to the point, but go find another tarot reader because I'm here to chat with my peeps. My peeps, I want to hear what you guys are going through this full moon because I am telling you, I was shocked. This has been the most ex unexpected thing and so fast moving. It's like, oh my God, like this is something I've been waiting for for a long time. And it just came in the most unexpected form. So I think like that's my message to you guys is be really open-minded about how you're meeting this person, about how you are, you know, where they live. Like they might not live where you live. It might be like a long distance thing. Like for a while, I kind of ruled that out, but I mean, I'm telling you, some fast communications coming in. Some things are moving really fast. I think there's a lot of fast-moving energy going on right now. So jump on the train. Be open-minded. Expect the unexpected. You guys have some sable partnerships coming in here. Some two of pentacles. You guys might be doing some business coming up here. The knave of wands. So I feel like seeing that knave of wands just now, it doesn't mean this person's immature. I think some of you guys might be dealing with relationships that are still in the beginning stages. The relationships might still be immature in the sense of like, you're just meeting somebody, you're like moving, but with the eight of wands here, I feel like it's moving fast. It's moving fast. Here's the moon. Why is the moon here? I feel like some of you guys are, if you guys are, especially like me, you're feeling like it's too good to be true. It's not necessarily too good to be true. There's just an energy right now, I think, in the um, planet, in the world, in the universe, that things need to start moving faster. Things are going to start moving faster. There's a lot of changes that need to happen. I think a lot of people need to be coming into union now. So the universe is kind of helping it along. I feel like some of you have racked up some really good karma and you're starting to see the effects of that. This, this energy that's coming in, this communication that's coming in, 
it's gonna help you release a lot of past past issues i feel like this full moon i feel like the full moon always brings like a culminality to um to whatever it is we've been holding on to i i feel like the new moon is where we manifest what we want to see whereas the full moon is where we kind of finally let go of certain things so it's a lot of releasing going on right now but a lot of new stuff is coming in and if it's not in yet we're making the space and headway to bring a lot of this new new energy into our lives and it's that virgo full moon too so you know there's a big emphasis on self-care i feel like organization organizing your life and kind of just perfecting things that you feel need to be perfected so um yeah i feel like there's a lot of good energy but okay i know you guys want to hear about each sign so i'm going to do a quick little update on what's going on with each sign that was the collective so somebody can timestamp this if you want to timestamp the collective um, let's see what's going on with my Aries. What's up with my Aries? Aries. Full moon energy for Aries. So the star card in reverse and the ace of cups. I feel like you guys were disappointed in the past. You thought somebody was going to turn out to be um, the way you wanted. I feel like you read the situation wrong. But you have a new opportunity and love that's actually going to be more of what it is that you want like i think you're kind of trying to trick yourself into um believing somebody was for you but they weren't this new love that's coming in might surprise you because they're going to be more your speed so also some of you guys could have been dealing with a delay and the delay is because of divine timing but divine timing is here so what is up with my Tauruses, Taurus, what's going on with Taurus? Nine of Cups, the hangman, not being able to make a decision. I feel like you know this person is your soulmate. You feel like this person that you're thinking of is wish fulfillment, but it seems like you can't pull the trigger. You can't make a move. You can't move towards this person. You're feeling really stuck. There's something blocking you from making a decision, and I feel like you're still not going to go forward. I feel like you're going to let this come to an end because you can't get out of this blockage and move forward with this person. So I feel like you're just going to let it dissipate, Taurus. Yikes. That's what I'm seeing for you guys. All right. Um, what comes after Taurus? What's up with my Gemini? What's going on with my Gemini? Gemini. I see you making a decision to actually work on building a stable foundation with a certain relationship. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Um, but I feel like, I feel like in the past it was being in and out, but I feel like you've made a decision that you want to work on this connection. You want to come in, you kind of want to romance this person. You kind of want to give them the love that they needed. You're trying to balance out that um earth energy that fire energy with some water you're trying to bring some romance back into this relationship and you're trying to work to kind of make this connection come back it seems like with this queen of wands this person um hasn't been emotionally fulfilled by you in the past so i feel like now they are going to be open to this because you're going to come in with a little bit more romance and that person is going to be like that's going to give them that emotional fulfillment they've been looking for with you. So what is up for my cancers? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cancers got some messages. The moon. The moon. Secrets involving... Hmm. I feel like a secret might come out that the person you're dealing with isn't exactly single or the person you're dealing with is going to let you know that they don't want to be single anymore um but you could have been on like unsure about what this person has been wanting 
Um, they've been working on themselves a lot. They've been really taking the time to go inward. So it has nothing to do with you. I feel like they do want a stable relationship with you, but they've had to do some inner work. And that's been why they've been like kind of blocking the situation. But I feel like you guys see it as they have a third party. I don't think they have a third party. I think they're just really working on themselves right now. And they're really sensitive to their surroundings. So that's why they're kind of in a little bit of this Queen of Swords mode, blocking anything that kind of is like in their space. I don't know. They need, they need like optimal healing space right now, it seems, Cancer. All right. So what is up for my Leos? What's going on for my Leos? Give me some Leo energy. The High Priestess. So you guys are coming out of no communication um, and moving fast. You guys have the Eight of Wands here. You might be traveling to see somebody. You might have taken the time to really think about your relationship with someone and decided you might have made a choice between two people. You've decided on one person and you're moving in to let them know. You're letting them know this or somebody or it's vice versa. Somebody's coming out of no communication with you. If you've been waiting for someone to make a decision, they have. They're coming in with the eight of wands fast, fast, fast to let you know. Let you know they're going to give you like a small offer. They're going to confess something to you. Leos, they're going to let you know how they feel. Um, okay, what is up with my Virgos? What's going on with my Virgos? Knave of Wands, maybe get a small little offer. Um, you're in the beginning stages of a really stable and balanced foundation. This person wants this Four of Wands with you. Um, justice, this is kind of, this is kind of a, 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 when I say karmic relationship, it's just a relationship that's kind of destined. The Justice is here, so some of you guys could be dealing with Libras. But I just feel like this is um, this is something that's like written in the cards for you guys. I think I think my Virgos got some got some soulmate action coming in. It's time for the Virgos. You guys have been waiting for this. You guys have manifested this. This is almost like a karmic thing. This is you know a lot of things are going to become clear to you with this moon. You're going to realize a lot of you're going to have a lot of understanding as to why things have happened the way they have why your relationships in the past haven't worked out, you're going to you're going to start coming to an understanding of this. You're going to start seeing clearly the balance of everything. All right, Virgos, what's up with my Libras? Tell me something about the Libras. Death card, ending a situation. Two of Swords, death. I see indecisiveness here, but seems like there's... Um, a decision has been made. There's an end to this indecisiveness. And you are coming out of communication. Ooh, the Ace of Swords. High Priestess. If you haven't been talking to somebody, you're about to drop some kind of truth on them. That you have chosen them. Are you guys dealing with Leos? Because this is like mirroring the Leo situation. Um, I feel like you've decided this person is your person. I feel like you weren't communicating this because you were in the state of indecisiveness, not no more. You guys are the ace of swords. So you are moving quickly, full speed ahead. Oh, Libras. Okay. Um, oh, that came out. Yeah. You guys are moving forward. Um, I just saw the six of swords. So you're going to make it a romantic offer. I feel like uh, what about my Scorpios? What's up with my Scorpios? What's going on with my Scorpios during this full moon? <laughs> Offering somebody. Giving yourself a lot of love right now, but I see you making or somebody coming in and making you an offer like let me take you to coffee or something. We've got the judgment here, so I feel like and the Knight of Chalices. So whoever's coming in for you is also seems to be like a little bit of a divine present to you. The Knight of Cups is coming in. So this person is going to be romantic. They could be another Earth's uh, water sign. But the wheel is moving forward here. So 
the universe is working with you right now, Scorpio. You've been giving yourself a lot of self-love and you have an offer coming in. It could be like um, an actual physical thing, like somebody could buy you a coffee, somebody could take you out for a drink, but this person could be another water sign. They're here to bring you some romance. They're here to bring you a little bit of what you've been looking for. The wheel is turning in your favor, Scorpio. Get, jump on it. You've been giving yourself that love, taking care of yourselves. Um, what is up with my Sagittarians? What's going on with y'all? The High Priestess. A lot of people have been out in the cold, huh? The High Priestess, the Star, and the Ace of Cups. Getting your wish fulfillment. You know this. You know this. When this person comes in, you're just going to know. You're going to know. You're going to have this, like, awakening. Like, this is my person. This is my person. I couldn't have crafted this person better in a dream. It's like practical magic or something. Like, if y'all been asking for somebody, you go and get this person. They might come in offering something small. Don't be deceived because if they're offering something small, what's really the connecting energy here is that Ace of Cups. New love, baby. New love for my Saggies. What's up with my Capricorns? Capricorn, tell me what's going on with the Capricorns. Capricorns. <clears throat> the world. Um, the Nine of Swords. Feeling anxiety about ending a cycle. I feel like there's a cycle you don't want to end, but there's no... I mean, you have to start doing the reciprocity here. I feel like this person, if you've been waiting on this person to kind of step their shit up, like, you've been waiting, you've been waiting, thinking, like, this person's going to come through. They are going to come through. They're going to come offer you their cup of love. They're going to soften out. They're going to give you an offer of love, and they're finally going to reciprocate the energy. I feel like you haven't walked away from this situation. It's get You just let go of the anxiety around it because you're like, there's nothing I can do that I haven't already put out there. So I have to let go of it to a certain extent. But... In the back of your mind, you've been waiting for this person. So this person's finally going to come give you the reciprocity it is that you desire, Capricorn. All right, so what is going on for my Aquarians? What's up with my Aqua? What's going on with you guys? Ooh, Ace of Wands and the Emperor. I feel like you guys are getting back to that emperor vibes. I feel like you guys haven't been given somebody an offer because you've been working on yourselves. I feel like you guys have taken the time to really regain that like emperor vibe. And I feel like when you get back there, when you open that door and you start feeling confident again, that's when you're going to give somebody an offer. Giving somebody an offer, but you might end up walking away from this situation because of lack of reciprocity. This person might have walked away from you because of lack of reciprocity, or you might have walked away from this person, um, but the reality is they were just trying to become the emperor. They were trying to get that, like this person might have been like not, not in a state, going through a rough time, and they're trying to get that com confidence back. Um, but they're going to get it back and they're going to make you an offer. So if you've seen somebody that's walked away from you, it might be making a comeback. Aquas or vice versa. Could be you. Uh, what's up with my Pisces? What's going on with my Pisces? Knave of Swords. Communication. King of Wands. Queen of Cups. Lots of people here. I feel like you're letting go of some kind of disappointment, some kind of heartbreak. I feel like you're communicating with someone. I feel like you're going to be communicating with someone. Someone's here offering you this cup of love. You guys could be the king of wands. Um, the hierophants here. So you guys have a commitment coming through. This person's offering you love and commitment. Um... I feel like you're going to have a lot of communication, a little communication. You might be texting with somebody. You might be 
talking to somebody online. Um, it's going to get you in that King of Wands energy, but I do feel like this person for you, you guys could be the Queen of Cups too, because, you know, obviously the water sign. But this person's going to be very established, very passionate person you're communicating with. And I see you offering your love to them, whereas you guys were heartbroken in the past. But I think this person's going to help you get out of that heartbreak. And you are going to offer your love to this person. Yeah, you're walking away from whatever in the past was not suiting you. And it's because this person's kind of helping push you along. So Pisces, that's what I'm seeing for you. All right, guys. That's what I saw. That's what I feel for the full moon energy. Um, somebody can timestamp that. I'm still offering my personal readings. And pretty soon I'm going to be posting the March monthly. So stay tuned for that. And I hope everybody has a great week. Um, I'm going to try and post some monthlies by the end of this week. So yeah, going to get to filming those pretty soon. So, all right, guys, I hope this resonated, and I hope you guys have a great full moon. Get that, release that stuff, and remember, expect the unexpected. That is my message for you guys this week. All right, guys, I hope you have a great week. Bye.